The five-year-old Jesus, the strict Jew, the twelve clay sparrows. One Sabbath, when the child had turned five, he went to a brook that flowed near Joseph's farmstead. It was a lovely day, and several children accompanied the lively little Jesus on the way there. For all the children of the neighborhood loved Jesus very much, because he was always cheerful and knew how to play a lot of children's games. That is why the neighborhood kids followed him happily. When the small group arrived at the brook, the child asked his fellow playmates if it would be allowed to play on a Sabbath. And the children spoke. Children below six years are not under the law. And all of us here have hardly reached the age of six yet. And therefore, we can play on a Sabbath, for our parents have never forbidden us. And the child Jesus replied, "Well spoken. So, let us play a game." But to avoid offending anyone, I will show you something quite remarkable just among ourselves. But you all have to stay very quiet while I show you. Thereupon, all the children sat down on the grassy ground and kept very still and quiet. The child then took a small pocket knife and cut out twelve small holes by the well-trodden path beside the brook, and filled it with water from the brook. Then he took some soft clay from the ground beside the brook, and in no time molded twelve small birds in the shape of sparrows and placed one sparrow next to each of the water-filled holes. And when the clay sparrows had been placed, the child asked his playmates if they understood the meaning of this. And they spoke, "What else than what it is? Twelve small holes and twelve clay sparrows beside them." But the child spoke, "That is certain." But this image also represents something completely different. Listen, I will explain it to you. The twelve small holes signify the twelve tribes of Israel. The pure water in it is the word of God, which is the same everywhere. And the dead clay sparrows represent the people, the way they are today. They stand beside the living water of the Word of God, but because they are too earthy, like these sparrows, they also stand dead beside the pools of life, which are brimming with life. But they do not want to and cannot see this, because they are dead due to their sins. Therefore, the Lord God Sabbath now comes in this time of great distress and puts new life into these dead people, and they will again be able to fly up to the clouds of heaven.
But this children's game was noticed by a strict Jew who passed by, one who knew Joseph very well. He ran immediately to the house and made a big fuss in front of Joseph, asking him why he defiled the Sabbath by allowing his children to play like this. Joseph immediately went over to the children with him and made a scene there, but only for the sake of the stranger. Here the child spoke. That also is a great affliction, and thus I will give life to you clay sparrows, and now you may fly away. And suddenly the clay sparrow started to move and flew away. At this all were seized by feverish amazement, and the strict Jew did not say anything further after that. And this was the first miracle of the child when he was five years old.